Hey everyone. I just want to quickly talk about the US election and what happened last night. I know a lot of Canadians are surprised, disappointed, depressed over the US election results last night. And if you were watching, for example, CBC and trying to understand how could Americans vote for this guy, you probably weren't going to get any answers. I know I found myself watching CBC's news coverage last night and they seem to be as lost as most Canadians to what happened in the States. Well, I'm just an everyday Canadian citizen, but I do follow U.S. politics fairly closely. So I'm going to give my best take on what happened. First off, I have to admit I did have Clinton winning. I had her up by about 20 points. I had her as a very close race, but did give... Trump a legit shot. I thought he had a real chance to win, especially in certain states that he ended up winning, like Pennsylvania, Michigan, Wisconsin. Those were states that worried me. Now, why did they worry me? First off, if you watch CBC, they try to pretend that all his supporters are racist, xenophobes, bigots, etc., etc. Now, that's not true. When Hillary Clinton said about half Trump supporters are basket deplorables, that's probably more accurate. Because, and I'm, I'm not trying to be overly mean to Trump supporters, but when you, the studies have been done, they show about half people that support Trump believe President Obama wasn't even born in the States, that he's a Muslim. There's shocking numbers that think whites are the superior race. I think it was like 25% of Trump supporters. I don't quote me on that. It was around that. Think so it's, it's scary. Trump, there's a large percent of Trump supporters, incredibly scary. And there are also a lot of these supporters who don't normally vote that came out and voted. A lot of these bigot type people came and voted. So it's true. A lot of the supporters are incredibly scary. However, who is this other half? Who are this, who are these other people that came and voted for Trump? Cause certainly not half the states are racist, bigots, xenophobes. And, and this is where it gets a little mis... The, the mainstream media, I felt, failed miserably explaining who these Trump supporters were. So half Trump supporters aren't bad people. They're, they, to be honest, they try their best to ignore the xenophobe stuff, the sexist stuff, all these horrible things. Because what they care about are their jobs and their families. So a lot of these people, especially when it gets to blue collar jobs and, and the states like Michigan manufacturing states like Michigan manufacturing states like Michigan, Wisconsin, Pennsylvania, etc. These are people that have had factory jobs and they were making sixteen dollars an hour before the economy crashed. And now they're stuck working at Walmart. Or maybe they got their job back and they're making fourteen dollars an hour or fifteen, but the wages have been stagnant and inflation has gone up, the cost of living has gone up, and they just see their lives getting worse and worse despite working really hard every day. These people aren't bad people, they're people that are doing their best to live with dignity, and it's not working for them. So they're getting, they're getting angry about their lives. And when you have the mainstream media and President Obama and Clinton say, hey look, the economy has recovered since the crash, Aren't we doing great? We should stay the course. Well, these are people, they know that's a lie. They're, they know, you're lying to me, media. You're lying to me, Clinton. I know my life isn't good. I know my friend's life isn't good. So stop lying to me. They know it's bullshit, what they're telling them. So when Trump comes along and says, hey, I'm going to make America great again. I'm going to make sure your jobs don't get shipped to China. That I'm going to protect the American worker. Is he actually going to do it? No. But it gives them something to hope for. And when you have someone like Clinton come along and says, we should just stay the course. We're doing fine. These people know that's not true. So are you going to vote for the candidate that, despite might be a madman, gives you a little bit of hope? A lot of them are. And these people are not bad people. They have diagnosed the problems correctly. They just did not diagnose the solution. The solution is not Donald Trump. 
I got news for them. It wasn't Hillary Clinton either. But these are people that are just fed up with the system and want to throw a brick through the window of the establishment. And that's what they did with their vote last night. These people are just fed up and that's, that's why they voted Trump. It's scary. I don't agree. But I'm just trying my best to give an explanation why they did it. Anyways, that's, that's the best I can do. God help us all. Trump presidency. Peace out.